That's all right then. How are you all? Good, 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 good. This is part two of this dragon. And we're going to add some colour. You might notice, or may not notice, that I've actually added a few things since we last saw it. I thought I'd do that in the interest of saving a bit of time. Now, we've got these fellas over here to add to the picture. Mushrooms. Well, toadstools, actually. I would think they are. They seem happy enough. But then again, they're fun guys. Ha ha, do you see what I did there? I know. I promise that won't happen again. No, that won't happen. Well, actually, I can't promise that because it probably will. It probably will. Now then, Tuesday. Now, the only reason I'm saying that is because I have to keep saying it in my own head to remind me what day is. Because I'm having trouble, I don't know about you guys, with this lockdown, remembering what day it is. Because I only watch the news now very, very briefly, because there's nothing else on there, apart from COVID. And I have to be honest, Piers Morgan, well, you can only go star on a in the morning on Piers Morgan, can't you? And all the, the news coverage, I mean, oh, dreadful, really. Now, anyway, we'll move on from that. We'll move on from that. Go back to the drawing. That's what we're good at. And that's what we like doing. That's why you're here. I hope, anyway. We'll just drive a nose. Which is very good, isn't it? Don't mind that. Now, I did say yesterday that I was going to dedicate the day to the witches. Now, circumstances beyond my control have stopped that happening for the moment, but I shall probably have a go at that this evening, if that's all right with you guys. And we'll see what we can come up with, because, as I said to you yesterday, one or two of them were getting a little bit agitated that they weren't being included in these videos. And we can't have that, because you don't upset anyone, if you can help it, because it's just not a nice thing to do. But if they have magic powers and the ability to turn you into a frog or a slug or some such creature it's best not to fall out with them at all i found because i do know that there is a chap not far away from where i live who has now been i think he's probably 30 years or thereabouts of being a frog. Now, unfortunately, he needs somebody to kiss him, to turn him back. But it has to be said that the charming ladies that live near me are not up for that at all. So that's that. He's had that, I'm afraid. He's not going to get any change out of a pound for that. Now then, Toadstools, predominantly poisonous, so you don't want to go near them. So, I mean, there are some you can eat, but I wouldn't recommend it. If you leave them all alone, then you can't go far wrong. They may look nice and tasty, but I assure you they're not. So, we're going to stay away from eating them. That's the ticket. Now then. 
How is it coming? That's not too bad, is it? Okay, now I'm going to get it, try and shift on a bit. With this. I'm going to waffle on a bit as well. About the witches. Or those witches. Or the witches. I think we could get... Slip into a rather posh accent, don't you do? Know? Well, we could do, but uh, I don't know if we would or not. But uh, we're going to quickly go over everything that's going to have this colour. I think these talons look quite good with this colour. I'm not quite sure what colour it is. It's like a light beige brown. I would think, actually, on the grand scale of things, if you were using a watercolour for this, it would be a yellow ochre. Now, like I said, these are watercolour pencils that I'm using for this. I like watercolour pencils because I do paint with watercolour quite often I, I do and I may do some watercolour bits and pops on here I'll see how we go what do you think? Would you like that? I suppose you would. Yes, there we are. Now he's getting a bit. Now we're getting a bit somewhere, aren't we? Now, what colour do you think this dragon should be? Because most of the time they're green. Most of the ones I know are green. And uh, they seem to like being green. But I don't know if this one's going to be green because I can't find the green that I want to use. For to colour him in. Isn't that always the way? I got a, a zillion coloured pencils here and I can't find the one I want. That's always the way. That is life full stop, I think. Anyway, got some scissors there. Now, one thing you don't do with scissors, that's it, you don't run with scissors. I have to be absolutely honest with you, I don't actually run a great deal full stop. But uh, I don't know if we're going to get much out of this because uh, I should have sharpened it before I started. Don't you think? There you are. Seamless bit of editing. Now I put a bit of a point on this pencil. Now, these pencils actually were quite expensive. And they're lovely pencils when they work. But the bizarre thing about them is... They are... Triangular. Not round, but triangular. Now, which is great if you put them on a the table, because they don't roll off. Because one of the annoying things about pencils well in my case it is that they tend to roll off the surface that I'm using them on and they hit the floor and that's where your problems begin because that's where you can break the lead all the way down through so I expect you've had that happen yourself when you go to sharpen them and you get just to a nice point and then you put your pencils down and it just drops out the end of the piece of wood that it's embedded in. Because you've dropped it, or somebody has dropped it. And they've broken the lead, or graphite, or whatever you want to call it, your preference. They've broken it all the way down through. And... There's nothing more frustrating than that, really. Well, I'm sure there probably is. But it's one of the things that I find frustrating. Now then, this is coming along nicely, isn't it? What don't you think so well? I was right there. You have it your own way. I think it is. Now, I've put a few 
different shapes of this dragon. Primarily to break up the colour. So he's not just all green, which he wouldn't be. Now, I've seen lizards that are green. That's like a song, isn't it? I know I he sang then, which would have been a big mistake. Because the myth is, people think I've got a lovely singing voice. But if I go and sing, they're going to realise that's a myth. And so we, want that. we don't want that to happen, is it, really? We don't want that to happen. Let people have their dreams, that's what I say. And if they want the dream that I got a beautiful voice... Then that's what we're going to do. I mean, my sort of party piece would be, I would think, I was born under a wandering star. Because I got the voice for that, I think. But the tragedy of it is I don't know the words. But I could learn them if you wanted me to. And we could give that a whirl, couldn't we? We could give that a whirl sometime. But only if you join in. So you're going to have to learn the lyrics too. Because I don't see why I should do all the work. Because I'm doing all the work, all the heavy lifting as it is here. If you think about it. Because here we are, drawing dragons again. For reasons that aren't actually my fault. Well, I suppose indirectly they are. Anyway. Enough of this. Endless waffle, as I say. Now then, I was talking to Merlin, who at the moment has got a bit of a problem with one of the bog whoppets. We did sign a treaty, or well, I didn't, Merlin did, with the bog whoppets. But there's one that's uh, acting up a bit. Now he wants access to the pond, or one of my ponds, because he wants to start a swimming club. Now, which is fine, but you can't do that at the moment, because it's like one big giant nursery at the moment, for the tadpoles. Or if it isn't, it will be very, very shortly. But uh, I don't know. I haven't been out there for a while. I have to be honest with you. I haven't been out. I've looked out the back window. But I haven't actually been outside. I went out once. I, I tell a lie. And I did sit on the bench. And I had a few words with my lovely neighbours. But that was that. And I haven't been out there since. I hope to be out there before the end of the year. Because I enjoy the garden. Anyway, as I was saying. But these bog whoppets are a bit like the gruff nigglers. Yeah, they gruff nigglers, you've got to watch them. And of course, they're related to the rat stranglers. Now, they're a very old family in these parts, the rat stranglers. And I knew one of the witches of the Rat Strangler family. And her name was Tamsy Rat Strangler. Yeah, Tamsy. She was a fine old lady. And she used to knock about. Now, what was the name which she used to knock about with somebody? And I, I, I can't remember her name now. It's gonna, it'll come back to me in a minute. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. It'll come back to me in a minute. I, I want to say... Her surname was Bogfarter. But it might have been double barrel hyphenated Loudfarter. Because some of these witches, when they get married, they want to keep their surname, which is fine. So you end up with hyphenated double barreled surnames. Uh, it makes me, I get very confused by it, I've got to be honest with you. 
But uh, the Loud Farters were one of those families, very old, very old, very wealthy, owned a lot of land in these parts, farmers, I believe. And of course, every now and again, like in every other family in the world, a witch is born. Which is fine, because witches are very useful. I mean, there's a few that go bad, but on the whole, they're very pleasant. I know several. Actually, I know one or two that don't even know they're witches. And how I know that is because Merlin's told me. Because Merlin, despite being one of the top wizards in the Guild of Wizardry, is prone to a bit of gossip. And I don't like gossip. I don't like gossip at all, but uh, see, Merlin, he spends an awful lot of time with his crystal balls. Yeah, his crystal balls. He spends a lot of time, what's the word, gazing, I suppose you'd call it, in his crystal balls. And that's why he seems to know so much. But uh, I don't know, because I know nowadays there seems to be a lot of this fake news about now, I don't know if that applies to crystal balls or not. Probably not, actually, if you think about it. You'd think the magic lock would have a bit more of a control over what's going on. But having said that, when I say the magic lock, you've got to be a bit careful because they do get a bit temperamental. They actually seem to have a pretty good handle on things. And they keep everybody under quite a tight, you know... Because you can't have witches and wizards running around the place doing this and doing that as they please. They have to have a code. Because if you haven't got a code, you've got a problem. Because they will cause you problems. Not so much me personally, but uh, they're not interested in me personally, per se. Because I'm not really that interested. Not to a full-blown wizard or a witch, anyway. Now, this, around this tree here, I believe, is Ivy. Now, I don't know what her surname is, but I knew her sister. No, I'm just joshing with you, see, because it's Ivy. It's a plant, isn't it? It grows up a tree like that. But, uh, anyway, and now I've forgotten what I was talking about now. So we're we'll talking about something else. Yeah, it's completely got my loss by train of thought. Happens a lot, you know, happens a lot. I don't know what that is. That could mean something's going on, couldn't it? Right then, now then. I think we want a bit of yellow on here. Now, I did spot a yellow earlier on. A nice bright yellow. That's the puppy. That's the puppy. And I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know if you can see that. This, look at my finger. That's coming off these pencils. So what's all that about? I mean, they're expensive watercolour pencils. And the actual paint they use to paint the, the pencils... Is next to useless. I well, I think I will. I think I will write a letter of complaint. Anyway, let's get back to what we were talking about, which we don't remember anyway. And I don't expect you remember. Well, I don't expect you're even listening. But we got a situation with some of the witches because they they are feeling left out. They want to be in the videos. They got a bit starstruck. And they want to be in the videos. They want to be famous. Like a lot of people do. 
you know, I mean, a couple of them have been on Britain's Got Talent. It has to be said they didn't do very well, but they went on it, so you have to admire them for that. But uh, I don't know, I don't know about these shows like that, I really don't. No, I don't. Oh, no, 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 we don't think about things like that. Britain's Got Talent, oh, well, I don't know. Well, yes, it's like one of, one of the Flip Gerblers came round here the other day. Yeah, Flip, Flip, Flip Gerblers. As a cross between a hippopotamus and a hippopotamus, an elephant. They got bigger trunks than elephants and fatter bodies. Nice chaps, actually. Anyway, he popped round and he was talking about this Britain's Got Talent business because he thought he might go on it. But I said to him, what are you going to do? And he said, oh, I didn't realise you had to do anything. I well, said, oh, yeah, that's why it's called Britain's Got Talent. You go on there and you do your party piece, you know, your act or whatever. Oh, and he said, oh, I don't know. We don't, we don't, we don't go in for that sort of antics. And I said, well, there you are then. Perhaps it's not meant for you. I don't know. I reckon you ought to stay at home, have a cup of tea and have a rethink. That's what I said to him. I, that was the advice I gave. But I always remember that advice was given to me once. But if you ever, ever feel the urge to do any strenuous exercise, you've got to think it through. You've got to sit down. In all fairness, have a cup of tea before you do anything like that. And I, I tend to agree with that, you know. But then I suppose we've got to stay healthy. We got, to, But then we do, don't we? We walk, don't we? I don't know. I don't walk very far these days. I can't. I did go on and out into the kitchen earlier on and had a chat with the fridge. And the fridge is a very nice fellow. Keeps lots of nice things with him. And we're all for that. Anyway, look, the time is going on and I'm waffling on it. And the darkest thing is you're listening. So who's the bigger fool? But uh, anyway, like I said, I shall be back later on, hopefully. Because this is part two of the dragon. How to draw a cartoon dragon. Well, how I draw it is not necessarily how you have to draw one. Because I'm sure there's lots of other ways of doing it. But it's how I do it. How I draw And that's what I tend to do with these videos, is, is just showing you what I do. And it's up to you whether you want to do it that way, or you might want to do it differently. That's entirely up to you. Now then. Press on, Mark, because you're running out of time. No, 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 I don't mean that. I mean, on the video, I'm running out of time. I don't like to make these things too long, because... I know, unfortunately, most people that listen to them have only got an extent. Well, I was going to be rude then, but I won't. I would stop myself. Because I was going to say they got the attention span of about four minutes. And, of course, these videos usually are about half hour. So... You know, unless you've got a bit of time on your hands, which apparently a lot of people have at the moment, it can get a bit tiresome. But I don't know, is it? I don't know. I don't mean to be tiresome. I mean, I could be very tiresome if I want to be, but I thought I was just being a bit, having a bit of fun. I know I do waffle on a bit, but surely that's all part of it, isn't it? For having a bit of fun with me mates. Well, not actually mates, are we? I suppose we do know each other vaguely. No, I don't know, do we? 
Anyway, what I was going to say was I think we're going to put a bit of orange around this. I I can't find the orange I want. Though. I can't find the orange I want. That's not too bad. That's quite a nice orange. Just gives these eyes a bit of a, a bit more life to them. You see what I mean? See what I mean, chaps? There you are, you see? You're getting it. Now then, like I said, this video is replacing the one I had to delete. So, that's fair enough. I think he's coming on. I think that's about it, really, for this for now. I don't think we can do a lot more, because we're 25 minutes in. And I, like I said, I don't think... I don't know if there's many people left listening, really. I should keep going for a little bit longer, just in case there is. I don't mind if you don't want to listen to the end. I find it a bit sad, in a way. But I don't mind. But when I come back later on, we're going to have a few more stories, I think. About them, them chickens... And, of course, we've got to talk about the witches because we can't ignore them. Because, like I said before, you don't ignore magical beings. You do so at your peril. That's what I say anyway. And we don't want to do that. Because you don't want to wake up one morning and find out something dreadful's happened. And you've got to spend the rest of your life in a pond in somebody's garden. Because that way, madness lies. Because I'll tell you one thing about that. Is that's a different world altogether. If they grow up big cats and that out there. Dogs aren't so bad, but those cats. And the trouble with they cats is they just like to play. Which is all very well. But... You're a little frog. You don't want to be thrown around the garden like that, do you? And I got a feeling, if I'm honest, that they cats. I know they either come purring up and they either rub their head and you're to your head and they either down walk. But I reckon, personally, they got a bit of a vicious streak in them, you know. And I'm not so sure that they're quite as nice as they think they are. Because that worries me sometimes. Because you've got to think to yourself... What are they actually up to? Because the thing is, nobody stays that fit with that amount of laying around doing nothing. Because you can see what's happening now with this lockdown business. Everybody's changing shape quite rapidly. But they cats, see, they can just sit down. Now, I've given this some thought, i got to be honest with you. They seem to be able to just sit down and nothing happens. But us poor saps, me, oh good grief, good grief. I mean, I can just look at a cream cake and I put half a stone on, just like that. And it takes me about four months to get it off again, which is a bit worrying in itself. Anyway, like I said, that's about it for this picture. I hope you like it. I hope you subscribe to the page because that helps. And uh, I'll see you again. And then we'll actually have a look at some witches if you like. Now take care. Bye-bye.